Hi, I'm Carl Klodge, and this is my project to light up an Apollo Disky panel. This project is intended to take the display unit from an actual Apollo Disky and uh, animate it so that we can see the digits displaying on it. I have in my hand a late model version. In fact, it's a spare that would have been put into spacecraft. It's got a 160 pin a set of connectors here. The segments are activated by 275 volt 800 Hertz AC and to generate that there is a power supply module which I have wired up here and then that high voltage AC goes through relay modules. The relay modules are switching the high voltage to the individual segments that form all of the digits. There's 21 numeric digits with seven segments, plus three signs and some other features on the display. Now the power supply I have and the relays are from the earlier design called Block 1 of Apollo. But they had significantly redesigned the Apollo equipment and before any people flew in it, they were on to, to Block 2. So the modules here the displays are from block two, but unfortunately the relays and the power supply are block one. Fortunately, they're compatible enough, same voltages and all. This older version um, has got the same elements on it as the uh, later block two. It's still block two, but it's the very first specification or version of it. It has a slightly different wavelength of the light, and so it's a more bluer green. So I'll turn it on now and you can see the coloring of this. See, it's a more blue-green than we're accustomed to see on Apollo um, spacecraft. Now the way I'm activating it um, is by driving voltages into the power supply module. It takes both 14 and 28 volts and an 800 Hertz input signal. That's a square wave coming from the computer. So basically um, the square wave goes through this driver circuit. I'm generating it from a um, a square wave generator and that makes this power supply module produce the 275 volt AC that uh, is needed for the rest of it. To activate the relay module you need to drive 14 volts into it. Um, one set of lines selects a row, a row of five digits that go across the relay module and then the other lines either latch or unlatch the relay for each column. There are five columns those hold a 5-bit code. The 5-bit code uh, is switched through those relays to produce the seven segments that light up the system, 5 bits being enough to generate one of 10 unique digits. So the relay module has 137 connections that go into it. Some of them are the segments, the, uh, the high voltage that goes in and is switched out, and others are the low voltage, the 14 volts that drives latching or unlatching the relays. To drive the 14 volts from an Arduino, I have this board with transistor driver circuits that are converting the voltages so it can either feed 14 volts or pull the other side to ground to activate the different relay coils. So I wrote a little simple command based script in the Arduino where I can set codes and it'll latch and unlatch the appropriate relays um, so that we display the digits we want. So I'm going to put a value into the program area of uh, 88. Listen, that were the, the little uh, digits going. As we can see, the values 88, 55, and minus are in there just as I had um, set it up. You can see the bag of individual connectors here. They're a small piece of nylon. They have a long gold tail that you can do wire wrap, wrap on. And the other end are a pair of, um, of pins that grip. The, this is the female side of the connector and it grips around a little prong that exists, which is the male side. Okay, now we can see that I've swapped in the newer version, the version that would have been just like the ones flying on the spacecraft. We have a nice brighter display and even more importantly, we have the correct Apollo coloring for it. The, 
more shifted um, green toward yellowish green rather than the blue green of the original one. Let's put some numbers in it now. Beautiful looking. Turn off the sign. That's what we hope to see from an Apollo Disky display. I have since wired up two relay modules and I can now animate the first row of five digits after the plus sign as well as the ones I had previously shown.